Sean, explain the concept of social entrepreneurship versus normal entrepreneurship. Well, I think that's interesting because we would say that um, entrepreneurship is normal in lots of different areas. And I think maybe a lot of people think of social entrepreneurship uh, as, as something different. You know, In a way, I think it's very similar. Entrepreneurship is not about making money. There's lots of people who can make money who aren't necessarily entrepreneurs. So there's something about entrepreneurs that sets them apart. Um, what is that? We think it's you know, to do with their ability to come up with new ideas, innovate, um, their ability to be able to go out and actually turn those ideas into action, to make things happen. You know, they tend to be very uh, driven people, big thinkers, but also who actually go out and get things done, very focused, um, you know, quite tunnel visioned in ways, and also able to get other people to buy into those ideas because when they're in, in a startup stage often they don't have a lot of resources to hand but they need other people to kind of come on board to really grow that idea. What we'd say social entrepreneurship is all of those things and the only difference between social entrepreneurship and let's say business entrepreneurship rather than normal entrepreneurship yeah. um, is that social entrepreneurs their ultimate mission, the reason why they're doing what they're doing is to tackle an entrenched social problem or build social capital not to build a commercially you know, successful firm. Other than that, we would say that they are exactly the same type of people as you would see in the business world. So we're not talking woolly socked, joint smoking, pink entrepreneurs uh, looking after farm animals or something like that? No, no, we don't hug a lot of trees in our business. But what we do look for is people who actually are going to have those high growth, high potential organizations. So these are very much people who are interested in expanding out ideas, scaling rapidly, um, looking for that large scale impact. So really what we're looking for is doers, doers with big, with big visions, big ideas. So it's entrepreneurs applying their skills to tackle a social problem. Absolutely. And the profit is to solve solving the problem rather than making money. Exactly. I mean, our, our, as a, if we think of ourselves as a venture capital firm, our return on investment is not financial, it's social impact. Um, and we measure that like we would in any good investment. Some of our uh, investees, their, their organizations underperform and you know, we work to try and correct that. And if we can't, well, that's, the, that's one of the, the investments that didn't work out for us. Others tend to overperform and we get a lot of return on that investment. Um, not to say that social entrepreneurs can't um, have organizations that are commercial in nature. Mm -hmm. They can be revenue generating. We tend to call those uh, social enterprises. They can also be charities. But for us, the key isn't what type of structure you put around the organization. It's finding the most appropriate way of growing that idea, be it a charity, be it a social enterprise, be it some sort of revenue generation.